Well, I was born in Dublin, 1978, and then uh, I grew up in Tullamore, County Offaly. It was in the Midlands of Ireland. And um, yeah, Irish people like to fight. <laughs> we're not fighting with each other. Our brothers were fighting with somebody else. And uh, you're in fights whether you like it or not. So you're fighting over TV remote, you go out, you're fighting a football, you want to go to another neighborhood, someone wants to fight with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right, so how is that for a kid growing up? Yeah, I was quite a scared kid. There was always fights in the schoolyard and, and you get your ass beat most of the time. I'm a right. small guy and I was a really small kid. Right. People just want to mess with you. So what does that do with a kid growing yeah, up? Yeah, then you want to learn how to fight. Right. And just to be able to defend yourself. And uh, yeah, so I did a bit of boxing, a bit of karate, kickboxing later. Um, and then later before I moved to Holland, I did Muay Thai. Right. So not that I was really good at everything, but I did a bit of everything just to, to be able to at least have the idea that I could defend myself. Right. And then what brought you here to this lovely country of cows and cheese? Well, I think uh, in my early 20s, I had a pretty good party lifestyle and I met a Dutch girl. We fell in love and she wanted to go back to Holland. So I followed her. We're still together uh, 20 years now. And uh, we have a kid. I have a son, 10 year old, and he's he's really big into skating and right. he's quite good. And we live close to the skate park here and um, he skates. Uh, and it was day. something I wanted to do my whole life. Really? But I, I come, I grew up in like a quite a rural place when I was smaller and there was nowhere to skate and we didn't right. have a skateboard. And then, uh, then my kids started and all I want to do, I didn't need to do all that street shit, to skate fucking bowls. Right, right. And yeah. we have a bowl here, mate. That's, just, that's all I want to know how to do. I don't give a f I can barely do an ollie, you know, right. but I don't need all the fancy shit. I want to like surf a bowl. That's right. what I want to do. Now I'm ready to do something else. Well, we started the, the, the Jiu Jitsu team two right. years ago right. and um, not as a commercial endeavor, but just three guys together right. train together have an idea how uh, how we wanted to train what right. we want to do brazilian jiu-jitsu is a grappling art that's adapted for more on the ground right as a self-defense right and uh, using leverage and 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 balance and, and that kind of thing but the idea was that a smaller guy on the ground would have an advantage against a bigger guy in basically all other martial arts, it's the other way around, right? So that's what separates ju Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu from the rest. So, I've been here for a year and I've seen it grow from I yeah. think 20, 20 something to so we, more yeah. than double. So we moved the beginning this year to a new location. Yeah. Everybody has their own strengths and we, uh, yeah. We have Marcel and Jiu-Jitsu. I remember very well my first lesson in July. I thought that I could hold myself, but boy, was I wrong. I can only uh, describe it as, you know, falling into the water without knowing how to swim. Mm -hmm. Once you go through the system, you learn the moves and you just realize that you are the water for other people. It's, it's grueling, and, and, and I think for me, everybody should, should should try at least one class to know what you're made of. Right. You know, and the medals and all that's nice, but it it, it doesn't matter. In, so, in, in essentially, essentially, you're saying jujitsu is not. It's not, you know, fighting your partner or fighting your competitor. It's fighting yourself. Totally. You're always fighting yourself. Totally. I think you're your own, your own worst enemy. A lot of right. you know, and, and and all the things, the insecurities. It's it's always about yourself. You know, it takes a special type of person with a certain, um, yeah, tenacity and and mental toughness to get over that that ego thing and keep going. The thing with jujitsu is it's it's representative of life. Right. The yeah. road of jiu-jitsu, the path is long and yeah. hard, right? And, yeah. and you fall and you have to stand up and you have to conquer conquer those challenges. Uh, yeah, you, you, you get used to being comfortable right. in the uncomfortable. That's like right. a thing that's said so much, but it's so true. You can, put, you can translate that to any facet of your life. Right. 
like if it's a, in business relationships, raising kids, mm-hmm. you know, it's like, uh, yeah, totally. Just don't panic. Right. Stay calm. Keep breathing, right? Keep breathing. Look around. There's a solution here somewhere. Right. And I'm not saying it suits everybody, right. but yeah, yeah. We just come down with an open mind and then... Uh, Start your own journey. Yeah. Don't compare with other people. people. Okay. <laughs>